Looking. And that's the first out. And up to the plate is Will Smith. First pitch just misses. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Now fly ball to right center. Puts it away for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Now Here's Max, Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Muncy. Max Muncy. And fouled off. Popped up. McNeil under it. Squeezes it. And that'll do it. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So now here's the Mets DH, Daniel Vogelback. The pitch. That's in for a strike. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Fastball high and tight right there. A scary combo. I'll tell you what, everyone in the stadium looked like they felt like they needed to jump out of the way. I know I moved. Check swing, went around. That's strike one. Vogelback gets his lead at first. Nobody out. That hits the dirt, and it's one and one. Working down in the zone to start the at bat, looking for that double play ground ball. Yeah, back to back sinkers there. He's looking for some weak contact or to get this hitter to roll over. Now, as a hitter, you have to be really disciplined. Don't look down because you'll end up chasing the ball down. Set your sights high, maybe you get a mistake. And now here is Tomas Nito. First pitch, and he just misses. That one missed. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pick. Line drive, base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He scores to tie it up. It's 1-1. Now the tag at second, and he's out trying for two. Here's the third baseman, Brandon Nimmo. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. It'll be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. In there, and it's on one. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. Turner handles the chance. He comes home with it. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. So the batting order turns over. Tyler Naquin, the next to hit. First pitch, not close. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Drops into the glove, and that is the inning. And welcome back. We're at the top of the eighth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Justin Turner. And the pitch. Turner pops it up. Alonso makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Next pitch has popped up. Takes it in for the out. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. One for two. Gavin Lux. Hey. 
And that's in there for strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. The pitch. That one misses. One and one. Two down, nobody on. And a count one and two. The wind and the pitch. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. And that'll do it. Back here in Queens, bottom of the eighth. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Now he steps out as time is granted. The right-hander back to work. There's a strike. There's a strike. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Ground ball, base down. No outs, runner at first. So up next for New York, Starling Marte. To the right side, it's through for a hit. Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Next to hit, Pete Alonso, known for his late-inning heroics. First offering, misses the mark. Lindor at second, Marte on at first with nobody out. Way out front for strike two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Two on, one out. Mark Canna digs in now. Hit on the ground. Might be two. Over to second for one. On to Freddy. Double play. Welcome back, and up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Scherzer back to work. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Naquin has this one sized up. Puts the squeeze on that one. One away. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Mookie to hit. Gotta be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Fouled off. He was late. Into center. Naquin under it. Puts it away for the out. Trey Turner at the plate. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. Time asked for at the plate. Maybe an attempt to break up the rhythm that he's got going on the mound right now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty delivers. Good eye right there. And that's downed away. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. And a four-pitch walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. 
Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. Turner runs. Pitch misses in. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. 1-0 to Freddie Freeman. Now a rip into left center. Can't get there. Base hit. Runner from second crosses the plate. It's 2-1. Clutch hitting right there to give him the lead this late in the ball game. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. This one in the air center field. Naquin under it, and the inning is over. here at City Field. So bottom of the ninth, and now the DH, Daniel Vogelback. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Out towards right center field. Slams off the bottom of the wall. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation on. And it gets by him. Relay throw, and he's safe. Tie ball game. Hey, that's a really big RBI as he snags himself three bases in the process. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff, a base hit. Nobody out. The winning run 90 feet away. Got him! Huge strikeout there. Now, now the third baseman, Brandon Nimmo. In the dirt, blocked. Nice job behind the plate there. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Here's the center fielder, Tyler Naquin. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. First offering misses badly for ball one. Winning run at third, one down. Next offering is in for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know. If Makes the grab out number two. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Now that is not Francisco. And a foul Lindor. ball. And he'll one. And that one wrapped foul. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. In comes the winning run, and the Mets.